hello guys welcome to c learning with new video in this video we will learn about how to create our ipsec tunnel ipsec vpn in a fortigate firewall so we are in a fortigate firewall so here we will go in vpns and here we will go in ipsec tunnels so if you want to create a new tunnel so uh, you can create from here a new ipsec tunnel and also you can go in wizard so it will if you go from ipsec tunnel it will uh, take automatically to the ipsec wizard so uh let's create the tunnel and uh, first of all you have to give the tunnel name so so there are two tunnels uh, uh, we can create uh, one is the side to side tunnel uh side to side vpn and other is a remote access for the remote access so side to side here we have the fortigate firewall on edge of the uh, network and this is our lan network and this is uh, uh, the firewall we connected and here you have uh, uh, an other site where you have the fortigate firewall and it has also a lan if you want to create a tunnel between one side to other side so this is the uh, a side to side vpn uh, ipsec so uh, here uh, there is an other option is a uh, remote access for remote access uh, we use we have a suppose we have a ipsec tunnel and uh, uh, we have a lan zone so some of our users are uh, on public internet so this is the public internet public and uh, some of our users from here want to access a file from uh, our uh, internal data centers so we will allow this these users via uh, uh, remote access uh, via forty client so uh, so this is the uh, option that we use the for uh, remote access ipsec tunnel for uh, remote access suppose this is the forty get internet from anywhere your user will uh, uh, install the forty client and then uh, user will be able to access the uh, files uh, from our private network or like data centers so in this video we will uh, configure this remote site and even in our next video we will go for site to site vpn so here uh, we will configure remote access ipsec tunnel for remote access so so first of all you have to give the tunnel name ipsec uh, vpn for remote access rc r a remote access okay for remote access and then this is the client base yes client will come for the client and then you have to uh, configure the incoming interface so your incoming interface would be uh, this one when interface so this would be your incoming interface this would be your incoming interface here which is the public interface so you will select here the interface whatever your when or the public interface is select with that one so mine is 2 port 2 is my public interface when facing interface so here you have to select the pre shared key so i am selecting here pre shared key that uh, 40 gate 1 2 3 so this is my uh, pre shared key and then you have to select the user group so you can create user group from here or you can go here in uh, user and authentication you can create so i will show you that so i am creating a user here so this will be the user that will log in first of all we uh, for in 40 client we install 40 client and then we make the connection and then the user will uh, uh, type his username and password that is the username password we define here that the uh, that user will uh, able to log in so here in firewall and we will select member create pki Uh, local user and here you can define a uh, user like uh, user 1 and then password of that user uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 and then no need to two factor authentication if you want to enable so you can enable it so sms will will come to your uh, contact and here just submit and here you will add that user user1 and name this group as user group and add this in tunnel so this user will able to log in uh, the firewall from the WAN side outside the uh, network and here you will define your local interface what is your LAN interface so my LAN interface is port 3 and here you will define the client uh, IP address the user will come to your network what public IP or private IP should be user contained so this uh, private ip you have to uh, uh, define here so here we will define 192.168 any private ip range 
the your users are using from uh, 10 to 192 168 10.100 so this is the my uh, private ip address these client users are using outside my uh, zoom so here you will uh, select next and save password auto connect yes you can enable this option and then setting and you will be able to create so we have created the ipsec tunnels you go in ipsec so here you can see here that the we select the port and the ipsec uh, tunnel name and now it's inactive so once uh, your user will able to uh, uh, install the 40 client and then it will access the uh, 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 tunnel so the tunnel status goes up so let me show you here how to create a user group then we will go uh, further so here you have to define the user like I have defined user so you can create here another user like a uh, uh, local user yes user 2 in the same way you can create from uh, inside or from here outside so the here password is 123456 and then yes and submit so I have created two user one from inside the tunnel and other from outside the tunnel you can use this uh, any method so here we have a group if you want to uh, select uh, this group and add that user in this uh, group so you can add it so i have added this to user group so now user 1 and user 2 will be able to access from outside via tunnel so here we'll go so you can check from here as well so uh, user group you will able to find that there are two users user user 1 and user 2 now you can see here so uh, Next, you will install the 40 client and then you have to select the public IP. L suppose uh, my port 2 have the public uh, public facing interface and its IP is, suppose uh, uh, this is my public IP and this is my public interface 2021978 and 219. So this is my public IP. So you have to select this public IP and uh, let me show you. So in our next video, we will uh, uh, see how to install 40 client in a device and then we will connect. So I, I will not able to connect uh, right now via tunnel because I'm using this VMware uh, version. So I will not able to connect the 40 client with this tunnel. So if you are using in the real network, so you can you, uh, 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 connect in the same way. So let's go. So here is my uh, 40 client I have installed in Windows 10. So I will uh, show you in next video how to install in Windows 10 40 client from a uh, uh, Fortinet website so here you have to uh, create a new user and IPsec VPN yes and the connection name IPsec tunnel tunnel and you have to any description if you want to give so have you have to enter the remote gateway IP so remote gateway IP is uh, this IP so I am using here I am using 40 client from here 40 client so here i will uh, enter when i open a 40 client here so i enter the this gateway ip so my gateway ip is 202.1976.292 202.19 and then 76.76 and then we uh, 292.292 so this is my uh, public IP and also I have to enter the pre-shared key that I have entered there. So I will use the same uh, pre-shared key. So there I use 40 net 123, 40 gate, sorry, 40 gate 123. And then uh, you have to save this uh, configuration. If you save login, so uh, it's your choice. So just save. Here you will select the IPsec tunnel and then uh, username the what, what user we created uh, in a FortiGate firewall so I have created user 1 yes user 1 can access 1 2 3 4 5 its password and then if you connect so that will auto automatically will uh, connect to that uh, 40 uh, IPsec uh, VPN so you will able to access the uh, data from uh, their private zones so this is how we can so if you want uh, that user to also want to access so you can uh, access via user 2 as well so this is how we can uh, create the ipsec tunnel for uh, remote access so uh, if you create the tunnel you no need to create the policy uh, in fortigate if you create a tunnel the policies uh, will automatically will be created so here if you go here 
so it will automatically create the policies what policies it required it create automatically so you can check the policies as well so here it create a default policy that uh, vpn ip external remote for remote access what would be incoming interface in uh, fortigate it would be the ip external and what would be outgoing what would be my lan interface it is the is this is me is port 3 and what would be the source ip range the source ip range that 40 client will use so 40 client will use uh, user will use this ip address and then destination all if you want to specify your uh, lan so you can select here to so cre create here address and you can uh, specify your lan like uh, you are using uh, 192 168 1.1 slash 24 network in your lan so you can create and select that respective in uh, this destination address and then you have uh, if you want to uh, configure ports if you are uh, define any port for ipsec and other so you can uh, define port here as well otherwise you can select default all okay and then you will go accept the policy netting enable yes obviously netting would be enable uh, anyone come from outside it will be net and then it will able to use our local and then these are the logs and allow logs and then you have to save the policy so this is the policy that automatically will be created so this is how uh, we can create ipsec tunnel for remote access thank you very much hope you like the video